A new year is dawning in Einholm. Welcome back, year 21. We are right now looking at our barn out there because there's something now happening. The barn is full. Yes, we have a population of 12 out of 12 cows. We have now two options available. I could start slaughtering cows, reducing my population. Um, that is sensible, right? We would get some meat out of it. We would need to get pelts and tallow. Now, pelts is something that we don't necessarily need that much. We have 100 pelts right now. We also have surprisingly enough tallow right now um, because our hunters are quite lucky these days finding game. I'm still pretty low on soap as I can't find a single piece of soap. So we will need to uh, do something about that. However, the rest is fine. So fine that I'm actually considering building a second barn because I think this is better than slaughtering those cows. What is better than having 12 cows? Well, having 24 cows, of course. And we would like to do a, a go ahead with this. The cool thing about these barns is they also increase fertility. We can see this right away. Here, there were grazing, right? And it's already a pretty nice fertile ground and now I'm having them over there. So they increase this fertile area then for us. And then we have this whole area there still too. Now do I want to have the barn on that side? Which would make sense. We have the milk maker over there. We could also have one here um, to increase my fertile area over there, right? So having more fields across um, the city just is better than having them all centralized in one space because it's very vulnerable then to uh, fallouts and stuff like that whatever happens like raiders so i would like to go ahead and have my my next barn then over here to start also making this area i wonder if we can actually make this area there green that would be pretty cool but let's go ahead and have my my next barn then basically out there and this will be pretty expensive that once again i think so 100 planks oh my goodness 100 planks that is quite a lot but I am determined. Let's, yeah, let's have it up there. I mean, that's a good location. Barns are usually pretty far out, right? And it does have a good location, though, because it has a good connection as well to any anything, right? This here is, that's just my fruit trees. Not that much I can do there. But this road here continues then going around all the way up to that barn here. Right, so it's not that far away, really, from my city. And this will make sense. So we can fertilize this whole area then four more fields to come because that's what we need of course for a bigger bigger city now the traders so once again just one trader uh we'll need to do something there honey can be sold we got 100 honey in storage already so this is easy and the price was also pretty right for this there will also be crude weapons here that i could take for a very low price now they're not the best but since we're also low on swords let's just get us some four crude weapons in to boost that a bit. We got enough clay. Yeah, food is fine. Tallow is fine. Nothing else that we really need. Um, I mean, I have so much honey. Let's just sell a bit more honey then, I guess. This trader has some coin. And it's just... It's better on my side than on, than on his. Another thing is our latest district that is coming together, right? It's still pre looking pretty naked overall. So it does still require some ornaments and stuff like that. Oh, there is actually room for a garden trail for a change. Because I was pretty disappointed that there is no room for garden trail here. Um, and yeah, also with that we have a higher firewood consumption. So I should go ahead now and start upgrading my firewood splitters. We can do this. It however costs me 20 bricks. First, let's check. Are all three of my, all my three firewood... No, there is still a slot available. So let's just add someone here. So this should ramp up my firewood production there a bit. And if all fails, then we need to upgrade them or build a fourth one. Because I would like to use my, my bricks now to upgrade then my market. A bit of planks we still need. But this is pretty important now because it will increase my income, desirability and the range to build more houses than over there. And that's exactly what I want to do. Alright, lots of honey. Let's get it off. That's the coin. That's the spirit. And there it is. We got one heavy tool. That's the last one that we need. Let's transfer this right over to my storage and we got 1,500 gold left. And I would like to use this. Um, first of all, let's get some normal tools there as well. So they'll be consumed rather quickly. They're really good for economy. I would like this. And then we have the Hoburgs. Also, let's go for them. Even though the price is ridiculous. Let's only... Actually, we don't. Since we can now go for the blacksmith, I don't need that anymore because we can construct it ourselves. So with a bit of coin, I would still like to purchase some stone. We have enough stone, really. But I'm just making sure here that it stays like this. So another 100. Another 100 stone. And the rest, we can actually transfer to my global storage then. That we also have a bit of gold then available. Which is then going right into my vault. No problem over there. 
All right, finally, that blacksmith can come together. There it is. The tool is already over here. And we can now finish this last building that we need here. Meh, what is this? All right, there it is, the road. I was shocked for a second. This should not be the case. Two more workers. We are at 199, so very close to 200. We got 12 laborers available, so enough. And yeah, we can now start production of tools, weapons, and heavy tools. Um, I think we have the heavy, we have the iron, yep. And we have the coal, so let's assign two more people to that and start full production of all of this. And yeah, there it is. Finally, blacksmith is working, producing tools now, and then weapons, and then heavy tools. In this order, they continue with that. As long as we have iron ingots, we'll be golden with this building. Very important one, finally. Um, we have two saw pits fully working, yet we don't have enough planks. The reason for that is, of course, this barn here that is consuming a ridiculous amount of planks. A 100 is really excessive. I already love it in its raw format, which is just the construction site. And yeah, planks are getting over here, but it's taking time, of course. But this is a really cool barn. I like this one already. And very far up uh, as well, as it's going continuously down here all the way to the village then. All right, in this tiny location here, just with all the houses, I would like to add my next bakery. Turns out we have quite a lot of flour in addition um, and in surplus, and we don't really have that much bread. So I should just go ahead and get us more bread. Um, as it is a perfect food type, really. Um, and yeah, there it is. As we can see, it's affecting quite a lot of buildings than it's surrounding. That we can have it then here as well. And I think we could actually squeeze in another house there. Yes, we can. Should we do this? We could either do this or build a smaller park beside it to further raise these people here. Let's build a house for now. We can always move these houses then around. And then I would like to have my roads here as well. Uh, why is this not possible? Because of terrain? Unpathable terrain? This is not looking so bad here. Let's try to flatten it. Perhaps it's better then. And also we have all the materials again to finally upgrade my market. And let's go ahead and do it with that one here. That was our first market. And this one deserves a proper upgrade now. And then I should go ahead and also start upgrading more garden trails to further improve my desirability. Four new villagers are born, one immigrated. We are past 200 now, 205. That is happening really quickly. Happiness is extremely high. The only thing that is lacking a bit is soap. So let's check it out why. There's only one person working in it. This might be the case or this might be the problem here. We got 10 available workers. Let's go ahead and add two more to this. This should ramp it up there just nicely. I'm not going to have another one yet. And firewood wise, 188. That sounds fine to me. And what have we produced already? Two tools, one weapon this year as they continue. And the other one has produced 100 ingots. The foundry. Oh, look at that. Crop lost to wildlife. Okay, so out here we do have a wildlife problem. Is there seven people would like to join? Yep. Leading to 212 now. Do we have a hunting ground here now? No, it doesn't look like it. Just really some deer run roaming around. That means though that we will need a fence here soon. That's a lot of cabbage being already harvested this year. And yep, with that, we can also now get rid of this all. Um, let's have here clover once again. Um, and then hmm, we could go with more grain as we do need it. Or I'm going with... Yeah, let's go with cabbage as well since we really don't have that much cabbage yet. And the other field is already full there as well. Look at that harvest. Beautiful. And probably will then just work with clover here, right? So once again, to increase fertility and then something like cabbage is just the best option that we really have. I mean, we're already getting the turnip over, um, but it's it's okay. Let's go with the cabbage for now. And here, something that hopefully increases once again, my fertility. So we would have, let's make two times the P that is not possible. 
because in summer it would be just very bad for business. <laughs> Go ahead with beans. All right, these are some pretty big fields there. I will want to continue them over there. Ah, very good. And that barn is ready, ready for action. So any additional cow that is being born now in the other barn is then being transported over there. So next year already, I'm expecting the first cows then. Or we could also say probably divide the herd now, right? Yep. So this one. And then we got six and the other six we move over to this barn. And this barn now has six cows also in store. Perfect. We split it up and now it's working on both of them. Let's add the first grazing area here. So where I would like to increase then my food, my fields, right? So there is some 57, 58% and here we got 57 as well. Here it's only 53. So here cows should graze now, increasing fertility and then we move it further up there to the hill to get the maximum out of that. And yes, there it is. Also, before even the market upgrade happens, we got the first homestead that would like to upgrade to tier 3. Uh, we're very low on planks, though. Uh, upgrading too many of them might be bad. Uh, a few more shelters would like to start upgrading now, too. But that's only the first of many, of course, as with the upgrade of the market, I'm expecting even more. Do we also have, let's just see, some small ornaments here? Yeah, a small plaza we could upgrade. Let's do this. And also, what is happening is the first building is overrun with the rodents. We got a rat problem at the market. There is the next one already, and we have a bit of a waste problem too. So a couple of things that we need to check here. Um, I would need another compost yard uh, that we should get out then soon, because with that, we can sort the waste problem once more. Where should we get it though? It is pretty ugly, right? Hmm, there is a location here. It's already a pretty ugly area there with the industry, so it might make sense to just have it there. Um, and it's also not that far away from the city. Yeah, it's still tricky. Yeah, I think this is a good location here. Um, I might actually... Let's flatten the terrain here. Let's do this, because then we can squeeze it into this location there, beside the candle shop and the cobbler shop. Um, and then with this area here, I can then, you know, get rid of the waste here. Or, even better, I could move some building around that we have over there. So, like this one. That would be possible if I can make this one flat. And if I can get the basket shop away, like to this area here. Let's move the basket shop. Then I'm going to flatten this terrain and squeeze it in. I hope this works. And I just also love it when a building catches fire right uh, before Christmas season. Everybody is right now going to their home. They actually dropped the water on their way to the fire. They dropped it and just went to their homes. And yeah, we are going to lose the smokehouse with that. Actually, one of my first buildings this one was. Right? In the first episode, my smokehouse. Off it goes. Into poof. A bit of a cloud of smoke. That's it. Thank you. My villagers really know where priorities are. Christmas season is more important than dowsing flames. Firewood is low. That's because we have a blizzard. Once again, deadly cold temperatures. Dropping my firewood even further. And I will also take this one now as an occasion to start upgrading my firewood splitter. Right, the first one here. This will allow me to have three people working on this then. And also increases productivity. So that would be that. And there, Christmas is over. People are going back to work. Just to be shocked that there is all of a sudden, yeah, some debris. And then there's the, the rat problem. Um, let's just check it out, really. We do have, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, four rat problems right now. Five with this market. This seems excessive. Of care. That is, of course, that is the difficulty level. Usually you start with one. And for that we do need the rat catcher. Fortunately, it does cost us monthly cost. <laughs> so eight, which is excessive as well. This is really quite a lot. We can squeeze one in here. Right? And I'm going to squeeze in another one here. Along the, the shore by the productions over there. And I will also need to get my root cellar and my granaries together because they share a rodent problem usually, right? So if I have my root cellar here, um, I can use one rat catcher for this area then. 
something I should really do. And that work camp is looking still fine. It's okay. Let's check the work camps there. This one, oh yeah, this one is almost empty. We need to move it again to another location. No stone, but we have plenty of stone. And then we have this work camp. Really far out there. Yeah, but that's the best location for it. Perfect. Also, my basket shop is now over. Let's try to flatten the terrain here. And the rest catcher number one is finished. So let's have it assigned. Can we please... Yes, we can reach everything here, as we can see, right? So it can reach both of these warehouses down here, the market and these houses there. So this is having a pretty good coverage, this rat catcher. And the other one then will probably be responsible. Perhaps we can reach the market and those storage goods there. Okay, year number 23, four livestock animals were born. Hooray! That means, yeah, we have uh, up from six to eight cows now in both barns of course so my cow population continues to rise and let's also enable milking you need to always manually do this right otherwise it's not accepting it so now we have two barns producing the milk for us let's go to the other side there real quick milking is enabled here as well so my cheese maker will have quite a lot of work ahead of it and how's it looking there with the milk I don't think we have milk in store right now which is not bad. It's okay. Probably going up then again. What we definitely have too much of is beer. So there we should definitely do something about. Alright. At least the smokehouse is also back to work again. And the firewood splitter was already upgraded. So it's producing more firewood than ever now. And this one has been flattened. Let's just hope that it works. Yes, perfect. We can have our compost yard here, which is a perfect location. It's very close to my village here that has the waste problem, and it's on the way to the fields over there, right? So this will be just perfect. Another thing, we're not producing enough bricks, really. I do need another brick maker. Um, we do have the workforce, kind of, for this. So I can squeeze it in then here in this location just fine. Beside the other one, yeah, let's have it also right here so that all the heavy industries together there. We need more bricks for so many upgrades. It's absolutely vital. And yeah, also my market is finished. Let's just check it out. The radio radius has been massively increased, so this this and this is all of a sudden city area now too so i could go ahead uh we are pretty close to the housing limit once more to add now more houses than here right they have a low desirability uh, the ability though but they would still within be within the range of my market now and thus provide us with taxes as every outer district has lower desirability than the core center of course the current trader is also yeah selling good wares we have lots of pottery and lots of beer in store we can make some real good cash here right now with selling all of this actually more than the trader has so i'm inclined to also purchase something and that would be pelts as usual yeah perhaps not that much this is fine um logs we have plenty of but i would still like to purchase some logs as well and then we can sell the remaining pottery there once more ah uh, we have more beer He's, he's, he doesn't have any money left. Right, so a thousand coin we have there. And that's the end of it in that case. I don't need these other goods. We can only hope for a second trader. Or we can spend all that cash on. Other than that, I don't, I don't really need it. Right, this is looking good too here. Both of those fields. They just look really pretty. And there's no deer this time roaming around. At least that is something.
Next, Redcatcher is ready for work. Yes, we can squeeze in the market plus the granary plus the root cellar and all of these residents in between. Just really as much as possible here. I think they increased the radius of these rat catchers. Can't remember it being that big. Uh, on the other side, I also can't remember having a monthly cost on it. But then again, that's just that. We are still having a good balance here of 58 surplus right now. Oh, of course, 30 readers have been sighted. Let's just try, just in case, to spend the coin on something. Um, unfortunately, yeah, there is bricks in store, right? So we could spend some of the coin there on bricks. I wouldn't know on what else anyway. We can, with that, we can boost our upgrades a bit. Let's purchase bricks value of 900, which is fine. It really is fine. So, 30 raiders, where are they coming in? Oh, it's more than 30. It's 40, it's 50 raiders. 50 raiders in total. Aha, uh -huh. and on complete different sides, parts. Right, the first one is coming up here in the north, and the other one is coming here in the south, and this is the bigger one. You could definitely loot my compost yard if you want to. No problem with that. I hope we are not losing too many too many villages to that now. Alright, is it too late to recruit more soldiers? My towers are fully staffed. And also my soldiers here are now fighting, as we can see. So they are doing a good job protecting my town center, I hope. Yeah, here all the raiders were killed. Building was destroyed. Oh, my root cellar. They actually destroyed my food. My food supply. Alright, my soldiers are still fighting. Both of them. But this is a pretty severe attack. Yeah, we lost two villages there now. 28 villages are still being attacked. Another building has been destroyed. Oh, come on, really? My high quality buildings, they are destroying them. Doesn't make any sense, really. Let's just try to get some more soldiers in. We need to protect our town center there. Oh, this is severe. Mm. This time, for some reasons, they don't let go. So there's my other soldiers now coming in, though. Fighting back. Perfect. So with my soldiers, we are able now to push them off. But look at that. My town center. If that goes down, we are lost. We have lost. But, yeah. I will need to rethink a few things. Because that had didn't happen before. That... Such a devastating attack happened. And for that, we will need to work on our fortification, bigger army, and also some better fortification around the town center in the future. The village was raided, 140 cheese was um, stolen, and much more severe is that my whole food supply is gone, right? So the root cellar is down. We need to quickly, very quickly repair this one, and then I just hope that we can survive the winter, um, or we will have a massive starving upon us. There is still a trader left, I could try and purchase some food. He's got green. Uh, okay, let's sell some stone. 100 stone, some baskets. I will need to I will need to do some magic here. We need to try to get a bit of food in because it's looking very grim right now. Yeah, and we're down to 2 months of food. Going to be interesting. Stay tuned.